Hello everyone. Thank you for joining us in the Singapore Spontaneous Math Tutorial. In this chapter, Volume of Cube and Cuboid, we would be exploring the following. Find one dimension of a cuboid given its volume and the other dimensions. Find length of a cube given its volume. Find height of a cuboid given its volume and base area. Find area of a face of a cuboid given its volume and one dimension. Use of square root and cube root signs. In primary 5, we learnt that the formula for volume of a cuboid is length times breadth times height. 10 cm times 2 cm times 3 cm equals 60 cubic centimeters. The volume of this cuboid is 60 cubic centimeters. A cuboid has a volume of 1.8 liters. Its height is 10 centimeters and its breadth is 12 centimeters. Find its length. To convert liters to cubic centimeters, we multiply by 1000. 1.8 times 1000 equals 1800. 1 1.8 liters equals 1800 cubic centimeters. We have the breadth and the height. Multiply them. 12 cm times 10 cm equals 120 square centimeters. To find the length, we take the volume divided by the figure for breadth times height. 1800 divided by 120 equals 15. The length of the cuboid is 15 cm. We have the length and the height. Multiply them. 16 cm times 20 cm equals 320 square cm. To find the breadth, we take the volume divided by the figure for length times height. 4480 divided by 320 equals 14. The breadth of the cuboid is 14 cm. We have the length and the breadth. Multiply them. 5 cm times 3 cm equals 15 square cm. To find the height, we take the volume divided by the figure for length times breadth. 60 divided by 15 equals 4. The height of the cuboid is 4 cm. All the edges of a cube are of equal length. If the volume of the cube is given, we can find the length of each side. If the volume of a cube is 8 cubic centimeters, the length of each side of the cube is 2 centimeters. The cube root of 8 is 2. 2 times 2 times 2 equals 8. If the volume of a cube is 27 cubic centimeters, the length of each side of the cube is 3 centimeters. The cube root of 27 is 3. 3 times 3 times 3 equals 27. If the volume of a cube is 64 cubic centimeters, the length of each side of the cube is 4 centimeters. 
The cube root of 64 is 4. 4 times 4 times 4 equals 64. It would be very helpful to memorize the cubes from 1 to 8. When you know the cubes of these numbers, you would also know the cube roots of these numbers. It helps when you are dealing with volumes. The colored face of the cuboid is 25 square centimeters. Its volume is 100 cubic centimeters. Find its height. To find the height, we take the volume divided by area of shaded face. 100 divided by 25 equals 4. The height of the cuboid is 4 centimeters. The base area of the cuboid is 40 square centimeters. Its volume is 120 cubic centimeters. Find its height. To find the height, we take the volume divided by the base area. 120 divided by 40 equals 3. The height of the cuboid is 3 centimeters. The colored face of the cuboid is a square. Its volume is 735 cubic centimeters and its length is 15 centimeters. Find the length of one side of the square face. Area of square face equals volume divided by length. 735 divided by 15 equals 49. Length of square face is the square root of 49, which is 7. The length of the square face is 7 centimeters. The shaded face of the cuboid is a square. Its volume is 72 cubic centimeters and its breadth is 2 centimeters. Find the length of one side of the square face. Area of square face equals volume divided by breadth. 72 divided by 2 equals 36. Length of the square face is the square root of 36, which is 6. The length of the square face is 6 centimeters. The capacity of this water tank is 8,000 cubic centimeters. The height of the water tank is 25 centimeters. Find the base area of the water tank. Base area equals volume divided by height. 8,000 divided by 25 equals 320. The base area of the water tank is 320 square centimeters. The base of a rectangular tank measures 60 centimeters by 25 centimeters. 54 liters of water is poured into this empty tank until it is three quarters full. What is the height of the tank?
A rectangular tank measures 40 cm by 20 cm by 30 cm. It was one quarter filled with water. A brick of volume 480 cubic centimeters was then placed in the tank. What was the height of water in the tank in the end? Rectangular tank A is 20 cm long, 8 cm wide, and 10 cm high. It is three-quarter filled with water. Some water from tank A is transferred into an empty tank B with a square base of sides 12 cm and height 6 cm. The water level in tank B is now 2 cm. What is the new water level in tank A? This is the same question as that in the previous tab. We employ another method to solve this. Thank you very much for watching our video. If you find our content useful, please help to like our video and subscribe to our channel. Appreciate it if you could share our video with your family and friends too.